and welcome to another episode of the Face Podcast. This is episode 191. My name is Jeff Ramsey, and with me, as always, Andrew Panton and Gavin Free. Hello. Hello. I can't believe I'm alive and here and happy and not dying, unlike last time. You made it. I made it. It was great. It was terrible, but it was great. <laughs> Today has been an interesting day of content. We filmed the end of last week's podcast. Then we filmed the end of the first round of a trivia contest. Then we filmed the second round of a trivia contest. And now we're filming a whole other podcast. I feel like I just hit a new low. Really? Uh, I feel like you hit a low in worms recently that I had never seen before. How could you be lower than that? Um, well, I was just brushing my teeth and I, the toothpaste missed my toothbrush and landed on my <laughs> gut. And, oh. I, and I just no. smeared the toothbrush oh. in it and I just kept going. <laughs> No, yes. I just think, yeah, that's and a just new low. Was, you have that, hit a new low. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> there would have been a time where I would have just wiped that off and got new toothpaste. But then I just thought, who am I trying to impress here? That time should have been 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I, I think that's perfectly valid. What are you going to waste the toothpaste? Yeah, I mean, it's what's it? It's toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it's. I don't know. I feel what's weird to me is not necessarily reusing it, but the in my head, you're smearing it all over your clothes, trying to get it on, like it's spreading. Like if you would have said you swabbed it with your finger, then put it on, that would have been less weird. In oh, my you head. think it's, it, it was weird that I went with the toothbrush to my yeah, own gut? Yeah, that's what <laughs> kind of I think weirded me out about it. That just <laughs> seems like the most direct way to do it. Can I ask how you how you? Uh, missed? I don't understand how you missed. I don't understand how you missed, I guess. You missed the toothbrush? Yeah, what angle was the tube? Well, I had the... The thing that got me is that I, I untwisted the tooth toothpaste lid with the same hand I was holding the tube with. So I was already sort of like smashed up ah. against myself and the other hand had the uh, the toothbrush in. And it just, it just missed the brush and bounced onto my shirt. <laughs> Is the toothpaste cap doing anything for you? Well, it's keeping the toothpaste. Or do you think eliminating the toothpaste cap maybe like eliminates this issue for forever for you? Just like leave it off. Yeah. No, that's crazy. Go hard. The toothpaste will go hard? Isn't that why the cap's there to keep it moist? You got to put the cap on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it'll go. I don't think it'll. I don't think this toothpaste. It'll get go stale. Hard it'll like get like crusty and stale. Yeah, I don't. End. I don't trust that. There'll be like a film. It'll be like a skin. Like when you leave soup on. I don't think that's true. You're using it every day. It's not long. It's not sitting there long enough to go bad. Is it like a regional thing or an old time thing where the toothpaste used to be in like upright cylinders and you would press yeah, the I pump remember. on the top? Oh well, no, the pump. I don't know what you're talking about. The pump sounds crazy. The pump was a thing in the 90s. It was like a new way to do it. But they before that, they had essentially what we have now. But you would have the old metal key that you would wind the two, wind uh, it back yeah. with. You remember those? No, no. But I used the little pump things. And if, if ever you would leave one of those for too long and then go to use it again, the top of the toothpaste that was in the little mm -hmm. primer area would have gone hard. And you would have to pump. And sometimes it would shoot the, the mm -hmm. hard toothpaste yep. out. Mm-hmm. So that's why I think it would go hard. Now, I've, I've never experienced that with toothpaste, but that's definitely like a hand soap type thing. It happens all the time. Solidifies and then it's shooting all over the place. It's a mess. I just don't, I, I don't foresee it. I don't foresee it happening with oh. toothpaste. What do you mean you don't foresee it? What the fuck is that, Jeff? You're, yeah, that's the key. That, I know that's, what Jeff's that's how. About. That's exactly how, like every home in America had one of those keys when I was a kid. Yeah. And you, my, so you could squeeze every that. bit of fucking toothpaste out of a toothpaste tube. That's amazing. Yeah. I don't see them anymore, but that's what that's the way it used to work. Yeah, and then that's what they replaced it with, yeah. Like even like Coke cans and, or soda cans had like separate things at, at one point. Like the, the bit you pull comes off. Mm. Yeah, those house. are the pump things that used to shoot a jet of hard toothpaste out. It looks like bear mace, but for <laughs> cavities is how that model looks. <laughs> well, that's kind of what toothpaste is, right? <laughs> Right. I just want the spray. I want to mace myself in the face. I want to be like Dude. one of those guys in Mad Max Fury Road with the silver spray paint, but I want that for cavities. Ultimate tip for these pumps, too, is that as they were running low, the, the top red piece wouldn't pump any toothpaste out. But if you took the handle of your toothbrush and shoved it up the bottom, you could eke out a little bit more toothpaste. Mm. 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 Hey, if... If it helps, Gav, I, I recently experienced a new low uh, as well. Maybe uh, maybe I can I can soften the blow of your new low a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. 
shit myself in the shower the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I don't know why I don't expect it, but it's always shit with you. Yeah. Never, never had that happen. You're in I, the same uh, boat as me now. Got in the shower, went to fart, and uh, oh, couldn't God. trust that fart. And then I had to hold my cheeks together with my hands and slip across the floor to the toilet, where I then oh exploded in the toilet. And I have to say, uh, when I pulled my hand away after wiping, there was sh- I managed to get poop on every finger. Oh I, my, my entire God. hand. Jesus it was the Christ, messiest yes. cleanup I've ever what had in my life. I don't want to hear it this. It was the most heinous thing I've ever dealt with in oh my, my life. Oh, my God. But if you were pushing your cheeks shut, how did it get on your hands? It just because I had to like wipe after I finished pooping. I oh sat down. God. I had to let it all out. I had exploders. And uh, <laughs> which, by the way, I just now I'm at a point. I've decided I was talking about this with Emily the other night. I'm just going to assume if I have to fart <laughs> that it's a shit from here on out. I'm yeah, going to do all safe. my farts on the toilet. So forward. did any come idea. out of your bum onto the shower floor? No. It was all contained. That hasn't happened yet. I did contain it. However, I do have oh, a puppy. God. So I have just discovered shit everywhere all the time now. Yeah. Oh, man. Just, That's just all the time, just on me all the time. Like, why is there shit on my elbow? How did, where did that come from? No idea. Can't track it down. Just there. <laughs> shit on my elbow. <laughs> you know, the classic expression. Shit on oh my, my elbow. God. Hey, do you, do, you, <laughs> do you remember how we had an ice storm like two days ago? Or it really wasn't even any ice except at Eric's house. Eric had ice. Nobody else did. Yeah, I I went oh, out in the backyard to take the dog out earlier, and it was so hot. I took my shirt off and went for a little tan for fifteen minutes. Are you Texas serious? Texas is fucking wild, dude. We had a thirty degree swing in Celsius in, in in like a day. Oh my god! I got too hot. I had to go in after a few. Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it I went from like there. minus nine to twenty one. I still had icicles in my front yard this morning uh, where I was dripping my faucet, and then. In the afternoon, I went for a sun, a sun in the backyard. It's just fucking ridiculous. Did a it is branch insane. hit you in the face? No, <laughs> I, I got all my branches cut back after you told your story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of sad to hear that because it's snowing here right now. And I thought that like, oh, look at us. It's so rare that our weather is aligned. But not even today. Oh, don't, oh, don't, don't worry. It will be tomorrow, the day after. I was going to flip back. It's, yeah, oh, yeah, it's, okay. seven, it's like 72 today. Tomorrow it'll be like 40. <laughs> See, I can't so. picture that because essentially every time I've been to Texas is RTX, which is in July, typically. It's like Ugh. peak summer. I can't imagine a cool Austin that just is hard to process. You should have a winter visit. I don't. Th- yeah, I should. I, I don't. I'm trying to think like the closest. Uh-huh. It's just such a confusing place, man. Weather wise. Yeah, it seems like a nightmare. I went out today and I thought to myself, as I was standing T-shirtless in the backyard, soaking up the sun, I thought to myself, why the fuck would I ever leave? <laughs> but tomorrow I'll be like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Speaking of confusing, I have a question for you guys about movie posters. Um, I was looking at, I was reviewing, I was just looking at like old movies and stuff and funny enough, this summer 98 movie. Have you, what's the worst movie poster you've seen? Is there anything that come to mind in the sense of like fails to explain, like is just a terrible visual representation of what that story is? Mine is uh, Six Days, Seven Nights. I don't know if you've seen that poster or that movie. No. I, I watched it as part of when we did the Summer of 98 stuff, and I'd seen the poster forever, but knew nothing about the movie. And that's the poster. I had always assumed that this is like a kind of horror thriller set in the jungle, and as the pop music played in the opening scene and said, like, I think it's an Ivan Reitman movie, it's like, this tonally is not... What I thought. Nothing about that reads as romantic comedy. I think this is the worst romantic comedy poster I've ever That's seen. That's a romantic comedy. He's wearing that is, shorts. That is a romantic. I mean, they get they crash on an island shorts. Whoa. and Danny Trejo dies uh, later. There's like one scene that's kind of intense, but it is largely a very fluffy romantic comedy. Um, that is a very how misleading about, poster. How about this one? Oh, God. What's yours? Uh, I think <laughs> yeah. said it mean. Uh, I mean, it does it a mean? great job of describing it. It's, I mean, you get it right away. It's, I don't think I get it from that poster. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure what's going on there, but I didn't expect there to be a needle and thread or, you know, there was a... Um, it's pretty gross. Can yeah. I share mine? I'm, of course. I, I, feel pretty, I feel pretty strong about this oh, one. 
God. The Shaggy, Shaggy Dogs, Dogs starring Tim Allen is <laughs> that is the craziest fucking poster because when you look at it's the human oh, eyes, it's yes. got Tim Allen's eyes. Yes. Yeah. Here's the thing. That's the one that came out, you know, like in like the 2000s or whatever the fuck it came out. The original poster is good. The original mm. poster is a dog wearing like this college stuff. And he says, I was a teenage boy and it's, it's horror. It's funny. And the, you'll love the shaggy of the shaggiest dog. Like there's, and it's sure. zany and madcap and it's describing stuff and whatever. And then you look at the one where they just put Tim Allen's eyes on a dog and you go, what happened here? Why wasn't, there a, wasn't there a sequel <laughs> to that movie called the shaggy DA? The shake. I've never heard of the shaggy. Yeah, oh, DA. oh my God. Here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> One poster that was way more literal than I was expecting was this one. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a great John Malkovich. Here you go. Yeah, that's the sequel to it. Oh my god, the Shaggy <laughs> DA. But do you see yeah. how they didn't give him human eyes? Yeah, no, he's definitely got dog eyes. He's got human glasses though. He does, and that's fun. I'm this way one's into that. Better. Hey. What is? Yeah, human, human eyes on an animal is just wrong. It is. <laughs> I wonder what the worst animal eyes to replace. I, I think goat eyes on a human would be the scariest. Whoa. Oh my Ooh. God. Have you ever seen the goat yeah. rectangle eye? No. Yeah. yeah. I think shark eyes would be scary. They look crazy and they're big and bulbous. I, why did I, why was I able to find this? Jeez. What is that? Oh God. It's goat eyes on people. I found oh, it. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's horrifying. Oh, I hate <laughs> oh, it. Oh, stop. I hate these. it so much. <laughs> That's I worse found, than I imagined. I found oh, so many. <laughs> What's going Whoa. on? <laughs> I found so many. Michael B. George should look like that. <laughs> oh, Drake my God. It's more... Drake doesn't really look any different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Dude, oh, Whoa, what like, is it, <laughs> I, oh, they swapped. It's an eye swap. Oh, that's terrible. No one, we should all just keep our eyes. <laughs> no, I think human eyes on a cat actually looks really good. I think that's an upgrade for the cat. Now I'm just thinking of Judge Doom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Go goat eyes are crazy with like their rectangles or whatever. Like they look like sit. You can, you can look at it and be like, oh, yeah, this thing's like connected to Satan somehow. Like I this get was. That. This was an episode of Batman Beyond, I remember, oh, yeah. where humans were getting uh, like goat eyes and cat ears and stuff and modifications. Somehow, <laughs> somehow Batman had to stop it. Gavin, that scared me so bad as a kid. Gavin oh, yeah. just posted a picture mm -hmm. from uh, Judge Doom. Roger, who, who framed uh, Roger Rabbit, and it is, it's as a kid, terrified. Of I, I got terrified. scared later in life. I've told this before, I think, but the version of Roger Rabbit that I watched like 25 times was recorded from TV and all of the stuff with his eyes popping out of his head was cut out. So when I finally <laughs> saw the full movie on like someone's actual proper VHS and he starts talking in a really squealy high pitched voice with his eyes popping out, I had to like get up and like run out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Terrifying. Oh man, this is I, I great source of content for this. Animorphs covers. I'm just looking at Animorphs covers of books because it's the fucking the animal transitions. It's great. It's ridiculous. I'm glad I was too old for Animorphs. Yeah, you didn't miss out. Yeah, I would. I'd be afraid that I would have liked it too much in a weird way. <laughs> you know what I mean? What I wouldn't want to go down mean? that road. I don't know. What that are might have you been saying like I might have just been. I, I it could have been too cool to me. I don't know. I don't want to get too into animals. Nothing is scarier than the third iteration of an Animorphs cover. Oh, oh. Here, hey, here you go. <laughs> no, <laughs> starfish. Oh, that's, oh, that's a nightmare. I think they made a show of Animorphs too, right? So if you wanted, they did, to, yeah, you, you didn't need to read yeah. the books. You could hop right in. I uh, I recently, I got, an, I recently made a, a what's turned out to be a pretty major life change uh, that I wanted to share with you guys. Oh yeah, I wasn't anticipating. I have started. I, I gotta be, I, I never thought at 48 years old I would do this, I would get into this, and that I would take it so, I don't know, get into it so swiftly, but I started uh, not too long after Christmas, I, I haven't told you guys this, but I started streaming, and uh, I've been really, I got really into it, um, and I got Emily into it, Emily's been streaming, Millie streams a little bit, but she's already streaming, 
and uh, I, uh, I I guess I'd be what you'd call a variety streamer. Anyway, I've been doing it a couple times a day lately. I've been kind of addicted to it, and I just don't know why I haven't told you guys yet. But I, I'm really into streaming. Yeah. Okay. What, what I don't I'm so confused. What does this mean? Here's what I'm concerned with is that he keeps using the word streaming, and I yeah think that I don't we probably have different definitions of what streaming might be. I think this is going to be a urine stream thing. Is what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> urine stream? Oh, no, dude, I'm not urine streaming. That's what I'm streaming. I think he's he's like doing a split stream with the. He somehow found a way to have it shoot two different ways at once, and he's streaming. That's so fucking weird and gross, dude. You just talked about getting shit all over your hands. I don't want to hear weird <laughs> and gross from you. Yeah, but I didn't do that on purpose. That was an accident that I had to deal with. I didn't intend to do it. Oh. I've been streaming. Oh, oh you stream too. Yeah, oh, dude. Come there on. We dude, I'm fucking addicted soda to Soda Stream. Oh is my that, god! It meant? is the greatest thing that's oh, ever happened. No to way, me. <laughs> dude. Are you fucking kidding me? I got that for Christmas. Here, fucking. I'm streaming while we're talking. I'm gonna put this in the fucking Discord. Uh, <laughs> so, so you're making soda at home? Yeah, I don't have. I don't have any trash anymore. I don't have soda yeah. cans to throw away. I make my own grapefruit bubbly with the syrup oh, and a soda fine. stream machine. Not really a machine. Are you aware of the uh, soda stream, like new drink mix flavor stuff that's coming out? No, I'm just using. I'm using. I, I stream mostly uh, Pepsi, uh, Pepsi Zero, and uh, Diet Starry. Oh, what do we got? Yeah, we got Pepsi, Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max. I have. Pepsi They're Max. doing a Mountain Dew one. Are these all just like the, the syrups? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Nick wow. also is way into this for a guy who doesn't have one of these. <laughs> dude, it's oh, worth it. Dude. It's worth it. I might. Ooh. You might? I thought there'd be more to that. Oh, you said it's so exciting. Nick said it like when a seal completes a trick, like the yeah, slap. This is, <laughs> for the... See, you're getting face jam Nick right what? now. It's no. really something. This is something. I, I it, looked on my bottle and it says expires October 2026. Oh, mine expires. So I think yeah. after a while, the bottle integrity might become slightly more explosive. <laughs> <laughs> can, I think mine expires in 2027. Can, can I ask oh, a lot shit. of questions about this thing? Please do. Yeah. Yeah, I have some questions too. Uh -huh. Is it better for you? No. Then what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. What, what do you think? <laughs> then soda. It's cheaper. Hell it's yeah. cheaper? And less it, waste. Uh, Okay. All right. Can you like make it stronger or is it like a thing like you have like a packet of something? That was my like question. Of, like yeah. cuz you squirt it's a squirt thing, right? So Is it? <sighs> well, there's different there's different versions. I don't know which one you have, Gav, but the one I have has three strengths on it, like normal, double, or triple. And then You can oh. get triple do? Yeah, so you, you like you, well, the way it works oh, is you fill that fuck. you fill that glass up or that that plastic bottle up that I have or Gavin has there with <laughs> with water. And then you uh -huh. stick it in the machine. The machine has a CO2 cartridge in the back. And then you just hit your strength level. And then it shoots that amount in. And then oh. you always go with a little extra because I like it. Yours is extra. fancier than mine. And then uh, uh, I just bought the middle of the road one. There was like a cheaper one and a more expensive one. I bought the one right in the middle. I just have and to then, pump uh, three times if, if I want it normal or like pump it a few more times if I want it stronger. <laughs> oh, no, I don't pump like a bitch. I just hit one button. But then you pull it <laughs> out and then you just pour a cap full of like Diet Starry in it. And then it's immediately an, a fucking like two liter of soda. Wow, I thought I was being such a dickhead when I posted my soda stream bottle because I didn't think for a chance that's what you were talking. One hundred percent, what I'm talking about. <laughs> em uh, Emily's dad got into soda stream last summer, and when we were visiting, he wouldn't stop talking about it, and he was really trying to sell me on it. And I thought if he's still into it at Christmas, I'll think about it. We went there at Christmas, hard into soda stream, maybe even more so than before. And so when I got home, I said, "Fuck it," I bought it, and uh, it's been the best thing ever. Just the have best you, thing ever. Have you gone to the lab yet? Because that is all I would be doing is mixing and matching different flavors, trying to find no. the uh. next combination. What I'm doing right now is trying not to fuck it up. Because if you do the if you I don't know if you've had this problem yet, Gavin, but if I don't have mine seated properly, if I'm not paying attention and I just slap it in wrong, it'll shoot carbonated <laughs> water all over my kitchen. <laughs> And then if you fuck up and pour the the soda in, like you put the water in and then you like pour the Diet Pepsi in before you soda stream that. it, that will yep. also explode your entire kitchen. But that's even worse because it's with soda. That's quite shocking. Yeah, I do that probably <laughs> twice a day right now. 
<laughs> yeah, there's a certain order to things that uh, it's not it's not pissing about when it comes to the instructions. No, no, take now, the warning seriously. I don't want you to break your machine, but have you tried experimenting carbonating other things? Like, I feel like that's the other place my brain goes with this device. <laughs> carbonating oh, like, adding, like marinara. Uh, yeah, or like yeah, like a condiment, like ketchup, or like what, what is uh, carbonated mustard taste like, or mm -hmm. pickle juice, ketchup, yeah. applesauce. I'd love to try some carbonated applesauce. I think what we should do is buy one for research purposes, and then do that, <laughs> and not ruin minor Gavin's. Yeah, we'll have a lab version. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think there's a it's guy a that carbonated awesome milk, right? But didn't it break it? Like, I, I think it. You have a danger of breaking those things when you do that. From my understanding. Mm -hmm. But I'd love know to know. If, I'd love to confirm if, it. I know that if you don't do it exactly the way it tells you to and in the order it tells you to, it makes you pay severely. Uh, it makes such a fucking mess. Such to, a mess. To me, whenever I'm using the soda stream or thinking about other people using it, I just picture Andrew using one. And I'm surprised that you're not a soda stream guy. I I had a soda stream a very long time ago, like kind of when they were new, and I, I didn't use it much outside of like the first run. I always had to try to get over the gap of getting another CO2 thing when it expires. That's like a real big detractor for me. It just seems mm. like a hassle. They sell them at Target, but they also okay. have a, a program where you can mail yours back and they'll mail you a new one for cheaper, and you just have like a return program. I Do you think it, if I just lock the empty canister in my office with all the cats, we'll refill it ourselves? Eventually. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, shit. Andrew. Andrew and I played trucks the other night. Oh, my God. Yeah, I didn't even put that in my notes. We did the truck thing. We played we trucks. We did it. And, and it with the full fun. crew, Bernie and Antonio and, and Andrew and I. You played early enough? Yeah. We worked it out on Monday night where a Andrew, Andrew made a, a block of time available for us, and we were able to fit that in. And Andrew got the full experience of being hit, being out of the game more than we were in it. it uh, we probably <laughs> traveled a total of, uh, I don't know, how, how far would you say? 60 yards, maybe, at most? Yeah, but we didn't probably get far. Not very far, no. No, it was uh, a great experience. One, just to, it was nice to see a different side of Jeff. Trucks Jeff is a lot of fun to hang out with not that i dislike any other side of jeff but you're you're definitely a, a trucks jeff is a whole other and it's a different itself. vibe man i'm trying yeah, to tell you like trucks is. to me is and, and that's why i'm so glad you hopped in because i, I just i think you have to be in it to f catch absolutely the vibe. and totally. i want the i want the content to feel like what that is if that makes sense i had such a good time and and gavin you haven't even experienced this window of it because your spotify or whatever doesn't work but I got the Spotify thing. I was listening to the music with them. I was really feeling, I was having such a good time and I had to leave before they did. And I just spent the rest of my night continuing to listen to that playlist. I was just sitting in bed listening to it. I think I'm sorted out now though. Oh really? Because Jeff added me to his family plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I tried to add Andrew, but it didn't work. But he was able it to- did not it work. Anyway. Yeah. It's, it said, you are not, you fucker, you're in Canada. We, we're not <laughs> falling for this. I had so much fun. They loved you, Andrew. They thought you. Oh, were great. that's wonderful. Yeah, they were so nice to meet them. Bernie loves to talk about art with anyone, and you, you were, you seemed really interested. And in, uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's how you win his heart over. Um, <laughs> anyway, so anyway, I just I wanted to say thank you. It was really glad. Oh, it was really thank fun. You for and I'm really, me, dude. I'm glad you enjoyed it, and I'm glad you caught whatever that is because I think now when we make trucks content going forward, it yes, it'll be different. It is it, because we kind of we get to see trucks, Jeff. We did a second video of trucks uh, where you are like mother goose and we are just lost ducklings is sort of the feeling it had where we're all stuck in the mud and you're just so patient and calm with us as you pull us out. That's the thing I like about trucks, man. No matter how rough it gets in the mud, there's no bad vibes in trucks. It's all yes. good and supportive. It's all helpful. It's all just about. It's not even about finishing the mission. It's just about making incremental progress. In the second trucks video, Jeff, you loaned me your really good truck. And I felt uh -huh. like, I felt like, it, I felt free. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. when we, so we finished a trucks video and I was so stuck. Like Nick said, I felt, Nick says he feels stuck. Um, I was, I spent the entire time on the side of a mountain I had a headache after we finished because I was so <laughs> mud stuck the entire time and felt like I did nothing. I, so, and I just thought you guys were trying to be funny. 
<laughs> no, I was stuck and I couldn't do anything. It was terrible. Like I had fun, but it was just so frustrating trying to get out of the mud and getting stuck that I spent the next like five days every whenever I had time to play games. I was exclusively playing trucks. I got the tire chains. I'm ready. So next time we record going to be a completely different story. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, for that sounds great. And I can always loan out cars to y'all too. Like it doesn't have to be about y'all using shitty vehicles. Like when you know when we play trucks, we use all of Antonio's vehicles. I don't even ever use mine. <laughs> uh, but that's just for the for getting kicked purposes, which you saw very quickly is a must. Otherwise, you'd be wiping out all progress every time you're kicked, which would I mean you'd kill yourself pretty fast. It's so Did brutal. you know, Gavin, that that Antonio and uh, Burn Dog use the trucking vernacular? Uh, were trucks guys before they met Jeff? This is a side. I thought this was such a funny story that uh, I heard when I was playing. I feel like I knew that, that they're the longtime truckers. They were they longtime truckers, but they didn't want to introduce Jeff to it because they were scared it would like intimidate him and he would stop playing games with them. So like yeah. it made me think about <laughs> when they first started and Jeff was like, I've been up playing Call of Duty till 2 a.m. every night. This is great. And their minds, they really miss trucks, but they didn't want to force him to play trucks Aww. because they were scared he'd stop playing games with them. <laughs> and then when Jeff eventually got to the point where he was initiating trucks, it was a game changer. And I just thought that was so funny. <laughs> Yeah, they were like, finally, we can stop pretending to want to play these other games. <laughs> I played so much Call of Duty Zombies, I didn't really give a shit about just because I wanted to hang out with them and I was having fun when we could have been playing trucks the whole time, back when it worked, too. I'm back in on COD. They're so old on trucks that they played all this on the PS4 version. They re they're redoing it all on the Xbox because they got Xboxes. I bet the PS4 version worked better. It did, yeah. The Xbox, the original Xbox One version works better, too, but... We got a new trucks game coming out in like a month and a half that I'm very excited about, and I'm hoping it will fix those stability issues. It's uh, unfortunately not going to launch with co-op, I don't think. Oh, really? It'll be patched in later. We were doing some research last night. We were playing when we were uh, brutal. La the night you and I played, Andrew, where we got kicked so much last night made that look like a success. Oh, my God. I, I almost texted them last night at 1230 after we stopped and said, I need to take a couple weeks off of trucks. I was so frustrated. <laughs> but... Uh, Anyway, um, so I don't know. That, I don't know that that'll be an immediate help, but supposedly the new DLC season twelve will fix the stability issues. We'll see. You were playing a lot of Call of Duty, Gavin? Yeah, I've just been playing Warzone again. Been playing with Meg, and uh, I, I like the new map. It's nice. Well, I don't know how new it is, but I haven't played since the last map. I haven't been inviting you to trucks. I've seen you on a couple times playing Call of Duty, and I just assumed you were playing with Dan or something. I don't want to bug you. Um, but now that I know you're playing with Meg, I'll bug you. <laughs> <laughs> i've been doing a thing where whenever i find a bomb drone i just stay near the edge of the smoke and i look up at the skyscrapers and i wait for people to jump off the building and start parachuting back into the circle and i just crash bomb drones into their face while they're on parachutes and it's so is that oh, is it easy fantastic. to do fantastic i've done it a few times they get downed in the air and then just splat into the street <laughs> <laughs> can we try that in a video that sounds amazing. i would have to it's it's so satisfying oh that oh, sounds that's great so funny the best way to learn a language immersion living where the language is spoken and using it every day but if that's not in the cards this year, you can still learn a language the second best way, and that's with Babbel. Babbel is a way to learn languages in the best way, in my opinion at least. And you can be a better you in 2024 with Babbel, the science-backed language learning app that actually works. Babbel's tips and tools are approachable, accessible, rooted in real-life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching so you're ready to practice what you've learned in the real world. And that's what's so exciting about Babbel. They have this great, easy to learn course. So, I mean, all the courses are, are great and easy to learn, but they help you learn real life language and conversation skills in different languages. So it's easier when you're abroad to order food or ask for directions, like all those sort of key language based things they are great with. They have such great programs for and it's really easy to, to pick up. The other thing that they do, which is so awesome, is they provide pronunciation checks for uh for speech recognition. And it's it's awesome because if you're not pronouncing a word correctly, then it's almost like you're not saying it right at all. Like it's it's a different it's a difficult language barrier. It's just a fantastic service. And here's a special limited time deal for our listeners. Right now get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com/face. 
Get 55% off at babbel.com slash face, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash face. Rules and restrictions may apply. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. We're deep in 2024. We have different goals we're trying to pursue. I'm doing like general uh, better health just uh, all around trying to focus on sleep and just just ways to improve my day to day life. Also, obviously, increased gr- grip strength, as I've talked extensively about. Uh, but, you know, around New Year's, we get obsessed with how to change ourselves instead of just expanding on what we're already doing right. Maybe you finally organize one part of your space and you want to tackle another. That is something I've been doing is a lot of cleaning, how it led to a leg injury, but hopefully that won't happen to you. Or maybe you're taking your supplements every morning and now you want to actually eat breakfast too. Therapy helps you find your strength so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick. Therapy is something that I couldn't recommend enough. It has impacted my life in so many ways. It has uh, allowed me to find solutions to problems that I didn't even necessarily know that I had. It's just uh, all around a great experience that I would highly recommend. Um, I really just can't say enough good things about it. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit BetterHelp.com slash face today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash face. Shady Rays is an independent sunglasses brand that has over 250,000 five-star reviews. They're on a mission to match affordability with durability, making top quality shades accessible to everyone. They have tons of styles and colors to pick from, so finding the perfect polarized shades is a breeze. There's also so many different options to pick from, like Color Rush. If you're looking for an upgrade, we would recommend their premium Color Rush lenses crafted with rare earth materials. These lenses bring high-impact color to life, elevating reds, blues, and greens. Everybody that I know that has Shady Rays loves them. They're fantastic. They look great. It's just an all-around cool product. But what's important to know is that their lost and broken protection plan is incredible. If your shades go MIA or take a hit, Don't sweat it. They've got lost and broken protection, so you're covered from day one. They have free shippings and returns as well, so if you don't love your shades, exchange or return them for free within 30 days. There's no risk when you shop. Exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal. Head to ShadyRays.com and use code FACE for 55% off polarized sunglasses and snow goggles. Try for yourself the shades rated 5 stars by over 250,000 people. Oh, man, we're in kind of like a, a lull for games, and then it's going to ramp back up, and I can't wait to have new stuff to play. There's that new Prince of Persia that looks cool. I'm really excited about that truck game, although I didn't realize it doesn't have online co-op, but I reached out to them, and it sounds like we might be able to get an early code for Jeff, so, so cool. I wanted to do like a, a Let's Play video where it's Jeff and the truck crew just like showing off the new game and like looking at stuff. I'm really hopeful that comes together. I think that'd be awesome. I saw somebody in the comments. We're talking about game stuff. I saw somebody in the comments somewhere said, uh, was like, why haven't they played Garfield Kart together? Yeah, I need oh. to double check that that has online multiplayer. That is such like, I never wanted to force anyone else to play Garfield Kart when I was deep into that. But uh, that would be a great video. I bought it so into. that I could try to beat your times. And I gave up after a couple <laughs> hours of trying. I was like, never mind. I was so far off the mark. And I so didn't see a path to getting better. To that level, I just gave up immediately. Oh, by the I way, Andrew, I beat one of your time. Halo times. <gasps> what? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Are you serious? Oh, shit. Whoa. Yeah, you know. <laughs> How does this work? Does he have I don't, 24 I don't even hours? Remember. Do you have 24 yeah, hours now to beat it? he has 24 hours to respond. Yeah. He has to figure out what it is. What it is, like, beat the time. Oh He's got 24 hours God. from right now. Wow, start the clock. I hope, I hope you didn't have any plans for the next 24 hours. I, I'm looking, I have my games tab up right now. I got to start deleting stuff because I don't even have, it's MCC, I'm assuming? Yeah. Halo it has two. to be, right? Yeah. Oh, Halo 2. Oh, no. No, you didn't. It's not the same level, is it? It's a different level. Okay. Different that, level. That's the one y'all streamed so much, right? <laughs> yeah, that was the one we did. That was, yeah. <laughs> when Jesus we were done with the, the outskirts one, I just, I, <laughs> I refuse to ever play that level again for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm okay. Well, I'll see if I can figure out what this is by the time we unless, finish. Unless unless we already did this. Did you already beat me back? This was months ago that I beat your time. 
<laughs> if you just declared that you beat my time and I've already taken the time back and it's on your I, side. Well, I was holding <laughs> it just to use whatever it came up. But I want, I'm wondering if I already spent it now. <laughs> okay, I am. That, what you just described really sums up this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did I already use this bullet or am I going to empty case in my revolver? You got to stop, you got to start deleting your notes after you say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Nick said I just cashed a bad check. <laughs> <laughs> I was I so know. Gavin, I was so pumped. I was well, so I, excited and now it's just like, I don't know, maybe. I don't remember spending this one yet. I've been holding it for a while. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'm installing it right now. We've been doing this podcast too long, I think. Oh, can I cloud play this? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's clear the queue. I want to see if I can cloud launch this so it's even faster. <laughs> oh, shit. I, Gavin, if you if you already played this, <laughs> I thought. Do you know when you made the note? It's not even a note. I just think after last time we had one of these go around. It's just a thing you remember. Yeah, I just thought, well, I'll quickly beat another level and I'll just whip it out whenever, like, times comes up. Oh, and it, it is, I feel like it is possible that I have already got it back because I would, there was a time oh. when I would just randomly check and then yeah. try to. Well, I can tell you the level if you want to check this. The yeah, tell board. me the level and I'm already in it. I already cloud played it up. It's loading. Okay. It's what a level? Regret. Oh, the irony if this is <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful, Gavin. This, this rules. Uh, uh, I always bite off more than I can chew in this one. And sometimes I bite nothing. And I'm just uh, chewing jack shit. I need to even remember how to view the leaderboard for this. I think game. I just I bit a rock. Okay. Leaderboards. Oh. Uh campaign timing. Halo 2. On uh legendary, I assume? Yeah. You're uh, uh, Gavin. You're getting to the age where your memory is starting to slip, and I am enjoying it. This well, this awesome. there's a lot of lore, and it's hard to remember it all. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Okay. Displaying friends. Let's see. I, I saw you in that worms video the other day. Your mind was slipping there too a little bit. <laughs> that, that wasn't anything to do with lore. I need to go to bed. Is what I need to do. <laughs> no, no, huh. You stay up and play trucks with me. That's that's what, <laughs> that's where you're fucking up. <laughs> One of my notes says big hot dick. <laughs> I don't what know what the that is. What is going on? What is happening? What, what, what is big hot dick? This is so crazy. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I wish you I wish the notes app would tell you the day and time you wrote the notes. I know. Wouldn't that help if it was like 3 p.m. Wednesday? <laughs> you'd be like, oh right, that guy had a big hot dick. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the current leaderboard for regret. <laughs> it's not even close. I have I have a six minute lean on you. <laughs> that can't be right. Dude, come is that on. up to date? <laughs> what do you mean is it up to date? Do you think he just no. has an old file? So, no, sometimes it doesn't show the actual proper time. Like if I loaded it up, it might be different. We'll load it load up. It up. We'll load oh, it up. shit. This is a whole I thing mean, now. I mean, come on. You got to load it up. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Six minutes. Wow. That's, are I'm you sure been... it's regret? <laughs> I'm going to uh, just go through every level. Okay. What's the one where you punch the regret to death at the end? <laughs> I think that's regret. Okay, that one. Okay, so let's see. I don't even you think have... the armory has... You have 12 minutes on that? Oh... <laughs> this is what you I'm, <laughs> I'm one of the dumbest people I've ever met. All you had to do was not bring this up. I know. <laughs> Why did I think I had one in the bag? What? Let me rummage around this bag. I need to look at other levels. I mean, there are ones where you have a faster time than me, but oh. Wait, which one? Show me then, you fool. Which one's that? <laughs> You're calling me yeah. a fool? Hurry up, Show me this you real. Fool. Oh, the bloody Master Chief Collection needs an update. Uh, yeah, you're faster on that. You have a few. What's hilarious Whoa. is you have multiple that are faster. It's just not regret. Oh. Uh, not that one. Was it, uh, 
Not was it Cairo long. Station? What one am I? Yeah, yeah, you got a Cairo <laughs> Station one. <laughs> so I just did a ton, and then I just never mentioned it. <laughs> okay, you've done two so far. Okay. I wish uh, I could, I wish I'd remembered the right one. That would have. Yeah. Oh, okay, you got God, Sacred I'm Icon. So glad you didn't. Oh. Twenty-seven so gig update, three huh? Three quarantine zone. <sighs> Let me see if I can load this game up. Brave Mind, <laughs> you got you're you twice as fast on that for me. Well, at least I, I mean, got you have some. A few. Yeah, you absolutely do. You just issued the wrong challenge. I don't know. Sometimes I look at the, the leaderboard and it's different depending on the console I'm on or PC. Well, I can just see what I'm seeing. Well, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm loading the game up right now, so I'll see. Uh, hopefully, we're friends. I think. Wow, a 12 minute regret? That seems really fast. I, that was when I, I ran a lot. It's almost 13 minutes. It's 12.54. The thing is, with when we're doing the Halo times, you're so much better at it than I am. Like, you're so much sneakier and coming up with strategies. I, I genuinely felt like I was lucky to win that Halo 2 speed racing bet with you. You had such a good time. I just re I really couldn't make up any ground. I had a time, and it, it only it was like the second run of that day. And it just everything worked. I've tried to um, do the Billy Mitchell thing of like having a new time preloaded to go uh, <laughs> when, when you eventually beat it. And I just have not been able to ever get close enough to that. How do you see Always the times? Uh, it's in leaderboards. It's uh, that is such a bummer because I spent so much time trying to sneak a new regret time. <laughs> Where There's no way I settled for 18 minutes and decided that was good. Is that extra? So go Where is maybe uh go to options yeah options, options and career yeah okay. and then go to leaderboards and then tab to campaign timing and then halo 2 and you can swap to friends and legendary uh okay uh what is the map regret i have a few friends <laughs> i have andrew at oh you said legendary where do you switch it to legendary uh Bumpers. right tab right bumper oh i see uh, okay, I see Andrew has a time of 12.54 and Gavin oh, has a shit. time of 16.38. Oh, oh it's so different. It's faster. 18.38, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, but freaking uh, asshole. <laughs> oh, didn't even give you two keeps, minutes there. It just keeps getting better. This is the best thing we've ever done. <laughs> I'll, I'll have mine updated in three minutes, so I'm going to look at mine. I don't know. Okay. If, if, my, if it's not different on mine, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> you said it so smugly, too. Regret? <laughs> I spent oh. all my time on regret. Really? <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, That's I wonder the... if I trapped the time. I wonder if I just never did the end. That would be <laughs> wild. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. You better load that game up and look. <laughs> oh, I suck. I suck. My brain sucks. I can't, I don't even know how to feel. Like, I, I feel like this challenge hasn't started. Whenever we do the next, if you've trapped it, like, I, I don't. I think it starts when you tell me which time I've got this better than yours and then I repeat <laughs> it back to you. <laughs> how about you double check your time so we can run this back next time we do an episode and I'll, I'll, I'll act all surprised. I'll be like, oh my God. This <laughs> fucking <laughs> video game shit turned out to be so fun. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, did you see Jack's next time on from the episode no. that came out yesterday? Yeah. There's some venom in it. Yeah. <laughs> some venom funny. towards Andrew. Pretty Towards me? Oh, I'm, yeah. not, I'm the one that argued that he was good, ultimately. You guys <laughs> called him a ring doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> you were way meaner than I was. I, I, I mean, my idea was to put the doorbell sound, but that was because Jeff called him a doorbell. Oh, get! I'm not gonna get gaslit on this one. I was like, you know what? I'm sorry, Jack. You're good on this. You're the one who said his filming was shit. That's not what I said. Mm. I said that I was misled by you, Gavin, because I thought it was the final cut, and then I, I apologized for it, and then you I did a joke have apology. Never jumped to more conclusions than that fruit throw video of anything <laughs> we've ever done. <laughs> well, I just if if you said, do you want an edited version or? Just the I said, raw do you want version. the video or the raw footage from my phone? You said edited. <laughs> right. I hadn't done it yet. How am I supposed to know that? Well, we already had this debate. It's fine. We're moving yeah. on. We're doing the fucking regret thing. 
No. <laughs> that is no regret thing. My sure. point is, Jack better have given Venom to you two because I was trying to be amicable. No, I thing. think all the Venom was to you. Yeah, yeah. I think Gavin and I were pretty free from it. That well, it's great. I even saw him in the hallway yesterday, and he hugged me and said he missed me. Wow. It's oh. true. I saw that. I I yeah. will. I can I can verify Jeff's claim. Yeah, it was a good hug too. I I could tell he meant he meant it. Are we doing office stuff on Friday? Uh, yeah, but I think it, we're, but it's, we're baking but it's pies, just right? Yeah, yeah it was just my house. So we're we pies have and all croutons. These, we have all these cosmic crisp apples that we got to make pies out of. But I want us to do it without a recipe, which I made clear to Jeff. So Jeff looked up a recipe. Um, oh. All yeah, I did was look up cooking times because I just have no frame of reference for how long to cook a pie. Hey, Gavin, if I said we would do it without a recipe and then you look up a recipe, would that be you looking up a recipe? Yeah. I think so. I think without a recipe is eyeballing it, guesswork. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, I don't rem I don't really remember. I just remember it was like an hour or so. <laughs> and I thought what? that seems like a long time to cook a pie. I would have probably gone with 10 minutes. So Right. And that would have been a funnier video. <laughs> oh, by the way, a tremendous amount of comments suggesting what we call the crouton thing. Have you seen it? No. 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 What do they call it? The croutoff. Ooh. Oh, because okay. it's crouton. That's fun. Yeah. Crouton. Very um, smart crouton. comment leavers. Yeah. Gracie's excited. I think she's procured all of the croutons. So that'll be a crouton eating contest. And then also, we're making sandwiches. <laughs> we're going to make the regulation sandwiches. Ooh, so it's going to be, yeah. be a lot tomorrow, Big but we're going to have the stuff. And I'm going to bring a blindfold. Um, so we'll have Cosmic Crisp apples, uh, and we'll see what happens. Why do you think Gracie is so much more excited by the croutons than the table thing? The desk she is thing. a she is a food freak. <laughs> She's a freaky food. Yeah, person. croutons are. Delicious. Do you know? I've been thinking about I've been thinking about Gracie bowing out with the with the migraine all of a sudden, and I think I know what happened. Uh -oh. oh yeah. <laughs> Between recordings, she slacked me, uh -huh. and uh, asked me the dog's name, and I told her. <gasps> I think she, I think her brain can't handle the knowledge, and it's it's bursting. It's bursting you overloaded her. her? I, don't, I think I overloaded <laughs> her. Yeah. She cheated at knowing the dog's name. No, she didn't. She, she just asked me the dog's name, and I have no oh, sorry, quarrel just, with her, so I told her the dog's name. Sorry, it's just, I guess, me uh, just drawing conclusions there. That right, right, me. right. That's, yeah, yeah, right. Whoops. And, uh, and now her brain hurts. Because <laughs> the name is so good? I don't know, but I'm, it's got me scared to ever tell you guys the name, because I don't want to hurt your brains. Mm. Oh, we weren't learning it anyway, so it's yeah. fine. It's an excellent yeah. point. I've almost learned it like three times now, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, when, when I was playing trucks, it was almost said, and Jeff had to go, whoa, 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 calm down. Luckily, yeah. Uh. So when I was uh, out of it last time we recorded, I think we talked about fruits and rebranding fruits. Oh, right? shit. Right, that was the whole thing that we're, we're talking about. Did we? Oh, Gavin just posted a photo of his regret time shit. on his end. Yeah, it is the once again the exact same time that has been said two times previous. It is still eighteen minutes thirty eight against twelve fifty four. Can I um, go and look on my other Xbox? Do whatever so he, makes you happy. So Andrew got that time with zero deaths, and he, you got it six minutes slower with twenty one deaths. Is that what I'm reading? <laughs> yeah, I, was, you know, I, got, I got new techniques. <laughs> He's working on it. Huh. Out the game plan. I'm a but uh, a boron. Sorry, Kara. <laughs> oh, why no, you are? What's one of the times you do have him beat at, and then let's ha let's have it that be it. I just feel like he really took the wind out of the sails of what was happening. I think we got to wait a week. I then... burnt down my sails because I'm about it. I just I have 11 minutes 28. I just want to point out that the, that image is titled shitballs.jpg. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that showed up. <laughs> but uh, we were talking about fruit, rebranding fruit. What is a fruit that needs a rebrand, a, a less popular fruit? So I did some reconnaissance. I did some research into this to see which fruit we could potentially assist. Who needs a refresh? And I'm going to be honest, I was pretty shocked by my results. I tried to figure out, like, what is a way. I originally just Googled popular, least popular fruit, and that was not, that was not helpful. There was not mm. a lot of data I could gather. So the best point of research I could think of to come up with was I went on Walmart because I figured there's Walmarts essentially everywhere and they have an online store and you could filter by sold, like most sold to least sold, essentially. And I was shocked to learn, so I did my local area first, that the least popular that is like a specific branded fruit 
is none other than the Bartlett Pear. <laughs> it was fourth on the list, but the rest were kind of generic. The Bartlett Pear, I did not expect a pear to be so low on the list. Bananas below it, but I think that's just like a cost thing as opposed to mm. quality of the fruit. And also, banana doesn't need a rebrand. Everyone knows banana. It's an iconic. It's a staple when you think of fruit in a way that I guess a pear isn't. A pear, I feel you could really say, is like the John Hawks of fruits, as I guess maybe <laughs> what I compare it to. Bring it full circle. But then I thought, well, maybe because it's my local store, maybe it's just my area and I live in a smaller place. So I went to, I found a Walmart in Toronto, one of the largest populated areas in Canada. Same thing, same exact placement, Bartlett Pear, bottom four. And then I went to another one. And once again, same results. We got the Bartlett struggling in the back. The Bartlett needs some assistance is what I'm gathering. So maybe if we want to try to think of a rebrand for Bartlett. You want to Zimmer the Bartlett? I think we could Zimmer the Bartlett. I think we could maybe adjust the value, bring it popularity. <laughs> I did send... I think you have really nailed it. I think the pear is the perfect fruit to try to resurrect or try to, re to refresh their image. It's a so solid fruit. It's a unique fruit. It's an overlooked fruit. Yeah. So I was, I was trying to think of like, find the equivalent essentially of the Cosmic Crisp to like reach out to you, to, to give them our assistance. And I found a website that's called like pearusa.com. And they seem to be like just the ge generic, like, we're the pear people. We got pear information. Uh, so the evening I was incredibly sick and out of it, I wrote them and <laughs> I wrote them in a rather unhinged email, I would say, about <laughs> pears at 2 a.m. And I will post that into the thing. Uh, and th they have not replied to this email. The email reads, hey, I hope you have an awesome day. Don't mind this random email. I just wanted to. Uh, nope, that's the wrong thing. That is completely the wrong message. That is unrelated to no, exactly anything. what that is. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was crazy that it started with hey. That hey. really yeah. took the, the wind out of yeah. your sails. Yeah, I sure did. I gavened it. I'm you got regret. <laughs> regret. Eric, you, uh, you got any bitch you want to fuck up real fast? No, I'm here good. We go. I'm here we go. 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 Hello. My name is Andrew Payton, and I'm an avid fruit connoisseur. I have a real passion for fruit, and I'm constantly doing research into the industry, specifically in the areas of popularity and sales. I think seeing what fruit grabs the attention of the public at various times to be both insightful and incredibly informative. In my most recent round of research, <laughs> I have uncovered something that I found deeply disturbing in regards to the Bartlett pear. My data has led me to realize that the Bartlett is one of the worst selling fruits across all of Canada. I didn't know who to alert, but upon discovering this site, it seems that you are the leading authority on pears in North America. Being the lead authority, I'm sure you're well aware of the struggle of the Bartlett, but I'm curious how you feel about all this. Why aren't Canadians buying the Bartlett? Does it need a rebrand? I have some reports that the Bartlett might be discontinued and phased out in the next few years. What are your thoughts, and do you think the Bartlett could bounce back? I hate to lose a classic pear. All the best. Andrew Payton. Your emails not have the, the perfect mix of like intriguing and condescending. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I have not heard from them. I also reached out to a local independent grocery store uh, just to see if they'd be willing to discuss sales of fruits and maybe what, what in the local, see if their data matches with mine. Haven't heard back from them either. So a lot of stuff is pending, but I do think that we could maybe come up with a rebrand for the Bartlett. I have an idea for it. you. I have an okay. idea for you. What do people want in a pear? What do people want in a fruit? They want to feel cool. They want to look cool. They want to be cool. They want fruit to be cool, right? What's cooler than rock and roll? What's cooler? What's the coolest form of rock and roll? Punk rock and roll, right? There is an incredibly popular punk band named Pears. They're, they're like a major punk band. Uh, the they're band. huge. They, uh, they're, they're like at the top of the game right now in the punk world in terms of like respect and popularity and i here's what i think you do i think you reach out to the band pears you get them on board say this is your namesake pears are taking a beating in canada we need to cool up pears a little bit maybe you can convince <laughs> them to write like a new jingle or a new theme song oh, for pears that's a great idea jeff i'm going as soon as we're done here i'm pursuing this lead and i will get back to you maybe they okay. could perform uh, a pear benefit concert in canada it's entirely oh. possible. They're on Fat Records if you want to reach out to the record label. Live well. pair? 
donations to, to save the pears, something like that, like a like a telethon type thing. Is that what you're thinking, Gavin? Yeah. Yeah, just something that people go to. I mean, you sounded, you suggested the idea and then you sounded like I invented it and I'm throwing it onto you. You seem very unconfident about it. Well, I was just thinking more like Live Aid. Yeah. That's the exact point. Okay. That's the comparison. Okay. Do people call into that? I don't know. I just want somebody to say that Gavin Free doesn't like pears on like a segment, like a charity thing. (laughs) Pears are below Apple for me. And where's Apple on the grand scale? Five, six out of ten. Yeah, but what if you saw a pair with a mohawk and a leather jacket with studs on it with a guitar? You might feel a little different. <laughs> I don't think I'd eat it. Would you eat that pair? I might be too scared to, but I'd be intrigued. <laughs> yeah. I think I think if you really want to get to the bottom of what's up with pairs, you have to find all the problems that people have with pairs and then try to solve those problems. I always underestimate the slippage of a pair. Hmm. I think the problem people have with a pear is its actual strength. People say a pear is too sandy. I think that's I think that's I think that's the nice part about it. No other fruit is sandy like a pear. Yeah, I don't mind the grit. But sometimes you can take a bite and it will just shoot down your throat. <laughs> mm. Mm. And trying to handle the cut open part of the pear. It's very Pe- slippery. <laughs> cut peaches will do the same thing. Super slippery. What if you like? Here's another one because pears are, are naturally gritty. What if you worked out where you could like eat it and like if you're a construction dude or a, a woodworker, you can like eat and then sand a little bit of wood and then eat from the other side <laughs> and sand a little bit. And you could show that like a pear can be a workplace tool and a snack. I like that. That's an innovative idea. What is the most disturbing fruit skinned? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I think a grape looks really fucking weird <laughs> skinned, dude. <laughs> Yeah, a grape. I does. feel like that is a good something point. like a pomegranate because it w- it wouldn't really like hold together. That's what I was about to ask. Is it with its held shape? I think if you can skin it and hold its shape, that's a bonus. But I mean, that, there's surely some that you can't do that with. I think I would be alarmed to see a watermelon skinned just hanging out. Uh, yeah, just oh. a big red ball. Yeah, just a red ball. Dragon fruit. It's got the, it's so, oh, yeah. it's, it's so mm, crazy mm. on the outside and then you peel it and it's just white with little seed, like speckled seeds all through. It's just not, it's like it's, the total opposite. It's very weird. It's the Scooby-Doo villain of fruits. It's you, you get your hands on it and you look what's under the hood and it's not at all what it's presenting itself to be. It's completely different. Has kiwi it, would look cool. Yeah. Kiwi would look cool. Has anyone ever skinned a watermelon before? Yeah. <laughs> I've never Definitely. seen that. I feel like I've seen videos. Like a, an entire, oh, it looks so cool. I don't think I've seen it, but I just, I assume that that has been done countless times. Can we get oh, a photo? I do this so bad. Maybe we should. Oh, each. that looks <laughs> awesome. I, Doesn't that look awesome? I, and I it looks like I a cranberry on steroids. Well, oh my the, God, I want to eat that so Eric, I was Eric, so wrong. Can we, can we skin watermelons on Friday too? We can try. I just don't know how. Do our well, water, thing, that's the thing with this season. That can't possibly be that watermelon. Why can't you know no. I'm saying? No, you think it's I a think, fake? I think that's two melons because you can't perfectly scoop out a melon from the green without annihilating it. I think I you guys know. have to find out on I Friday. I think that is that is the internals of a different melon, and the other, the green part, is melon balled. This is what I think. I think you freeze it. You got to freeze the melon, and I think you could do that. <laughs> Interesting. You know, just chisel Here's it off. Here's yeah, different. like if you freeze it, I think it will hold. Yeah, like that. Like that it looks like a dog's that. dick. Oh my god! I want is... I want to eat that so fucking. I want to just fucking take <laughs> bites out of it. Well, let's that's make one of these. Crazy. But this, Dude, look that's at this. Two melons. I'm getting super into. There's that. That's like a fucking oi- a watermelon oyster full of little watermelon pearls. Wow. Holy shit! <laughs> if you guys don't fuck around with watermelons tomorrow, I'm gonna be real mad at you. I'm gonna be real disappointed. I'm gonna be mad at me too, man. God damn, it looks like a giant bean. All right, I'll see, I'll see what we can do for tomorrow. We should, we should do this with all fruit. We should skin one half. <laughs> like a kiwi, uh, the, the green bit of a kiwi sat inside the brown bit of a kiwi. Be amazing. Oh, I feel like that's gross. I don't Why? like that when I picture it in my head. I don't know. The fuzziness and then the... No, I just don't like that blend. The melon, it works because it's a smooth texture on both sides, even though it's harder. But it's. it's I just want to touch it. I bet it's cold in your hands in a good way. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? It's like cold and a little wet and heavy, and you just want to like fucking bury your face in it. It's weird. I just want to eat it so hard. 
So weird. Ugh. Eat it so hard. I do. I want so much. I could eat that entire watermelon, I bet, like that. Are you going to have Ugh. it as an appetizer or like a, dr- a dessert after your croutons? Dude, my flavor dick is getting hard right now. <laughs> all right, that's... <laughs> okay, big, hot right. flavor dick. <laughs> okay, we got to start wrapping up. This is terrible. Um, <laughs> Are we already at the God. end? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. That was oh, a I didn't even, step. I, I, would tell, I, I wanted to tell you guys a funny story real fast. It's real fast. Eric won't mind. I went and saw Iron Claw the other day with Millie. He already knows this story. He's heard it a couple times. I went and saw Iron Claw the other day with Millie at the Alamo Draft House. This is the first movie I've been to in a long time. And we sat down and they kept showing these Disney and DreamWorks trailers, which seemed really weird for the Iron Claw, <laughs> you know? And, yeah. then, uh, and then the movie came on and they played Iron Giant. Oh, no, for... you went to the wrong theater? No, 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 they no, no, up? no, they fucked up. Uh, they had to stop it. They got about four oh. minutes in. They had to stop it. They had to, like, change <laughs> the aspect ratio, and then they played Iron Claw. Oh, my God. Somebody just hit the wrong fucking button, I guess. This is the Alamo? Yeah, Alamo Village. It, they just got, like, a laptop up there. They're just playing I these on so. the computer. <laughs> well, I think as Eric was pointing out, they have, like, a 25th anniversary thing going on right oh. now. And, like, like Gus just saw Election. And I think Iron Giant's one of the 25th anniversary movies. Just funny that uh, that mistake happened. That reminds That's me of the crazy. time we went to see a drive-in for Blaine's birthday. And we and they accidentally mirrored the, the iPhone that was playing the film. <laughs> Are you like, serious? See the list of phones on the, the list of films on the phone. That's funny. Oh. I oh, thought you were going a completely different way with that, that you were like, I didn't know Zac Efron was a high school musical kid. Like, when you said Disney stuff, I still thought it was relevant to him, but you just didn't know. No, I thought it was relevant to him, too, because he was in high school musical. I was like, that's fucking weird. Yeah, this is um, But I guess that's the throughput. And they did show, like, they showed the trailer for the new Planet of the Apes movie, and so I was like, well, that's a badass movie. That's kind of cool. That makes sense. But then it was just like cartoon, 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 cartoon. <laughs> and, uh, and even I was telling, when I was telling Eric and Anma, the fucking two dudes sitting to the left of Millie and I, one of the guys leaned over to me and he goes, are you here to see Iron Claw? And I was like, yeah, you? And like, yeah. And I was like, I don't know. And he's like, these are bizarre trailers. Yeah. <laughs> That's so I guess even the trailers are tied to the thing. Is Iron Giant a good movie? Yeah. I mean, I haven't, I only watched four minutes of it, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, no, I've seen it before. It's a really good movie. Vin Diesel is the Iron Giant. Yeah. Super. Yeah, it's good. It's uh, it's really creative. My uncle worked on it. It was really creative, and it was it was cool when it came out. It was uh, I think it still probably holds up pretty well. Mm -hmm. Good story. Your uncle sounds cool. He is. He's a great guy. My uncle's awesome. He works on uh, all kinds of stuff. He's a visual effects guy. Um, he's great. Lives in L.A. It's fantastic. Uh, Does he ever go on corridor crew? All of your responses (laughs) to that, Eric, on corridor crew. (laughs) All of your responses sounded yeah. like he isn't real like you're trying to convince us that you're just <laughs> no, like no, he's throwing real. I, don't, I, I don't know detail, who told detail, you detail, detail. who told you that he's not it's he's got a, he's, 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 he's got a LA, dirt bike and sometimes on the weekend yeah. he lets me drive his dirt bike and he <laughs> yeah. drinks beers he's real he, uh, he works at uh he works at nintendo didn't we think that eric's brother wasn't real at one point as well why do you have the most unbelievable family <laughs> I don't know. Does it no seem one like buys your family. family? I don't know what to tell you. They're does all your, where does your uncle land on fruit? Oh, he's for it. Dude is pro, super pro fruit for sure. You think he's ever skinned a watermelon before? I'll, I'll, I'll have to give him an ask. He's a visual thinks. effects artist, so he probably thinks visually. So he's probably, he probably had the idea and did he it does, years ago. He does probably think visually, yeah. 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 So l- let's get a melon and see if Jeff can make that using a single watermelon. Yeah, I mean, I I already I, I've set it in motion. We're I think I think we're making it happen. Should be fine. Should have okay. it tomorrow. Excellent. Um, Tomorrow's so gonna that be a great be day. Some, that Good should app. be some supplemental okay. content coming out uh, down the line. But do you know what came out as of uh, this recording? Does it do? Does it do is out now on our YouTube channel and uh, facepod.com. Dude, I have to say, I who who cut that trailer? For does it do on? I think that was Instagram. that might have been Devin. It was really good. Devin did such a good job at that trailer of escalating and just making it appear so fucking unhinged. Which I guess maybe the show is unhinged. I have watched. Oh, it a hundred percent is. <laughs> I, I only realize... watched the one cut that Gavin and I watched at New Year's Eve. But uh, yeah. yeah, just it, just <laughs> you and Gavin. Yeah, it just made me realize how how for that show I'm just along for the ride. Like Je- Jeff is just a train, oh. and I just have to like hop on and hop off at various points. He just goes. And I, I've, I just have no idea what's going to happen. Jeff does something, and I've seen, I think, four or five of these episodes at this point. But, Jeff, you do something, and I won't spoil it. it I think it's the funniest thing I think you've ever done. 
and it, it breaks Gavin in the same way it broke me when watching it. And it's is it's it such a simple thing, but it is so fucking funny. Is it with the cake or with the mask? It's or with is it a something mask. different. It's with a mask. <laughs> it's 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 great. I can't wait for people to see it. So <laughs> well, that's funny. in the trailer, isn't it? Is it okay? Well, I haven't seen the trailer for it, but <laughs> the, what you freaking... do with that mask? <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it happened, but I just <laughs> that's had to what lean makes into it, what it so did. funny. Is you seem equally shocked by it, and then you just leave it, and it's so funny. The I can't. It's there. In the back of my head, I'm trying to understand the math of how those two I, those two <laughs> things are in the same place on my own face, and eventually I just go like, it doesn't hurt, so I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> uh, have you seen it? Have you seen it since recording it? No. Let's get a screen. Let's post a screenshot of it. It's it's so funny. I don't. It's probably gonna. I can't we'll just insert that because it'll take a bit. I assume to get to there, but it's so it funny. Do post. It's so funny oh. to hear you say that, Gavin. That you're just there for the ride. I feel like I'm just trying to fill space. Like when we're there, I'm like, <laughs> it's like go, and then it's like, okay, let's start making something happen. I'm just trying to make it not quiet when we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, is it the third episode? I'm scrubbing through here. I don't remember. I watched them a little while ago, but oh my god, the whole oh, season it, it is really episode. good. Uh, let me I you. feel like I, as we were going to, we're so far away from the original premise of season one, which I tried to hold really tight with the like the kind of the character I play in it, and then and try to keep it contained at, while this this the world kind of gets crazy around us. In season two, I just start giving up, and I just like it's just. <laughs> I give up any pretense of it. It's just like, here's here's how we're going to make a mess. You keep adjusting your hair, but there are times where your hair is positioned in a way that you're like Woody Woodpecker, and it just is so <laughs> perfect. It's because it keeps having weird shit in it. <laughs> Gavin hits me with ranch dressing five minutes into recording, <laughs> and I just smelled ranch dressing for the next day straight. Because I did it, I did it, I like to do a thing where I just squirt stuff sort of in your <laughs> proximate direction without looking where it goes. <laughs> And I have no idea how much went on here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to post it, this. It's also uh, like permission to be as dirty and gross as you want to be and not feel bad about it for like three hours. Yeah. I mean, physically, like covered in muck and goo and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that should be the thumbnail, no? I mean, like, oh my God. I don't understand how my nose and my eyeball are both in the eye, f in the eye hole. It, it looks like a horrible injury. Like, you've been it in a boxing like Jason match. Jason Voorhees in the, the second movie with the bag. <laughs> oh. I didn't know my nose could go that far up. It's so far away from my mouth. There's like a whole face your, between my nose and my mouth. Like the teeth in the beard is so it's fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. You look like the dudes from the band episode of the X Files. Nick is right. That's absolutely. You just look fucked. Oh my god. Well, it somehow it looks worse from further now? away. Oh. Well, it's just that's oh. not where a nose goes. And there's also another <laughs> nose on the fucking on the mask. So it's just ultra confusing. Oh, oh it's perfect. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is just so unhinged. <laughs> I can't. I'm so happy we did it. And I can't imagine we're going to do a third season of Does It Do unless somebody wants to pay for it because we're just it's so hard to come up with fucking products. And even like I don't want to get into the whole fight again, but even like three of the products we did in this season, we said no to. But yeah. somehow we ended up doing them, which well, is fine. Of Eric. Which is of Eric, the I, I don't want to start the fight. Well, but, then don't fucking bring it up. But my point is, is that even those episodes are still really fucking good and really fun. But I just like I just don't know that there's enough products out there to do another season. Yeah, I mean, if we we'll find see. the products, the episodes kind of make themselves. Yeah, it's just about finding the products. I like that we've come full circle, by the way, on two noses on the same head. That's it's, it's so, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's really fun. that's a really that's a really good point, Gavin. Which I think was the end of the last episode. Now, I think so. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. Wow. Uh, so does it do is out. You can watch it on YouTube, our YouTube channel and on facepod.com. Uh, whatever works for you, uh, that's fine. Just watch it and uh, let us know what you think. And then we should have some more stuff that I don't know that we're quite talking about yet that'll be coming in the next couple weeks. Uh, Dude, we I can't to... wait till we're talking about it because I don't know what the fuck you're on about. Oh, I do. I'm excited. Uh, what, what are you on about? 
We'll, they'll yeah, find I know out. It comes out I'm, I know it comes out the 31st, Nick. Is I'm it something very, I already recorded? Date. No. 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 Oh. It's something it requires travel. It's, yes, it's the thing oh. we're going to go and, and do and then come back and continue to do. Where are we going? Uh, wow. She, how do I kick Nick out of here? Uh, okay, I, but but that's it. That's the end of the episode. Now I wrap up the episode. Can I can I just ha have like a group agreement that we all think that Nick hasn't been in the mask yet? Yeah, I was gonna bring it up earlier, but I don't think he's been in the mask either. I also don't think he's been in the mask because this this is my quarter. This is your quarter. That's true, and I've been keeping an ear out. Did you guys see that they're discontinuing fruit stripe gum? No. Yeah. I was excited to see how you turn that into a closing thing. Yeah, for I'm, the show. I'm really excited for that being the outro. No, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting that they're. I, it's been around for a million fucking years, and they are finally getting rid of it. So, you know, good sad day. Goodbye to fruit stripe gum. Been around it's since like the, the '60s. Like the Choco Taco. Oh, no. Goodbye. Well, the '60s was over 50 years ago, so we don't remember it anymore. That's true. There you go. There you go. It's been around as long as our uh, popular culture's collective memory, which is only 50 years. Well, what won't be around is us in 20 seconds. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, guys. Major League fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of Face. I can't believe my eyes. That is not enough light. Where did Lady Bird get her nickname? Almost time for a crude off. Andrew has nice shoes. He did it. The son of a bitch did it. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face. Face.